What's going on guys? Today I wanted to talk about and show you my temporary home workstation and desk setup that I'm currently working with. Since as most of you guys know, I do work from home every single day. So stick with me and we'll get after it. Okay, welcome back and as always, I'm glad that you're here. So I wanted to make this video for a few different reasons. First, I recently moved my desk and the setup that you're about to see is temporary. And this also brings me to the second reason I wanted to make this video. And I guess that's sort of to document my current setup because I have a pretty specific plan of what I want in the future. And I thought it might be kind of fun to come back to this video later and then compare it to what I hope to have in the future. And lastly, guys, I had another opportunity to partner up with Carl Friedrich to help show their incredible new home office lineup. So more on that in just a minute. But I always knew that my workstation was kind of clunky, but having to take it all down, move it, and then set everything back up made it pretty clear that I want to do some things different to make working from home a lot more comfortable. As a lot of you guys already know, running my website and this YouTube channel is my full-time job. So I work from home pretty much every single day. And there's really not a day that goes by that I'm not doing something that relates to my work. Now guys, just so we're clear, all those YouTubers out there that you might see making videos, showing off their fancy houses and brand new sports cars, I'm just not that guy. In fact, I'm pretty much the opposite of that guy. Now, with that said, I absolutely love what I do and I'm incredibly grateful that I'm even able to do this and squeak out a living making videos for you. All right, so let's get into my workstation setup. So first is the super sexy Ikea desk. I'm actually kidding, this is not sexy at all, but it works for me right now. It's supposed to be a corner desk with another surface on the side, but this is really all I've got right now. The goal in the future is to have a powered sit-stand desk with a solid wood surface. So if you've got a hookup with a quality manufacturer, let me know about it. The next thing you'll notice is the beautiful vegetable tanned Vachetta leather desk mat and valet tray from today's video sponsor, Carl Friedrich. Now, having been using the desk mat for the last eight or nine days has been an absolute treat. And before this, I was using this cheap rubber mouse pad from Amazon and really nothing underneath my keyboard at all. So my keyboard would end up sliding around a lot as I was typing and I was always grabbing it and sort of sliding it back into place where I wanted it. And it's kind of one of those little annoying things that always kind of bothered me, but I never really knew that it bothered me until it finally stopped. So guys, this desk mat is absolutely stunning and it feels amazing. Not only does it feel amazing, but because it looks so good, it just makes me want to organize everything else on my desk a lot better. It also adds sort of a level of class and professionalism that, at least for me, once I sit down, I know it's time to get to work. Even though my desk isn't ideal, having this beautiful handcrafted leather desk mat and valet tray just makes me feel a lot better about it. And there's just something about the feeling, because guys, let's face it, you're touching your desk surface constantly, and whether it's resting your wrist on your uh, desk surface below your keyboard or gliding your mouse around, the feeling you get from this over a standard solid surface is night and day. They come in two different colors, chocolate like I have, and also a lighter cognac color. They also make mouse pads if you want something a little bit smaller. Guys, go check them out at that special link that I'll leave down below in the description. Carl Friedrich is also giving us a discount code that's good for one month. So I'll leave that code for you down below as well. If you're looking to class up your own workstation, it's definitely worth clicking the link and checking it out because you can also have it monogrammed. Next, let's talk about some hard drives. Now, I had a really nice eight bay large storage array from GTEC on my old computer, but when we built this new one a few months ago, we just couldn't get it to work for some reason. I was able to go through it on my old machine and delete some old data and get all of the important data that I needed and spread it across these other drives until I find another solution. Currently, my blog content and the videos that I make live on these two four terabyte GTEC USB 3 drives that I really do like with copies and other miscellaneous projects spread across these other two drives. Now, I know it's not an ideal storage solution and I do need something better at some point, but it'll just have to do for right now. Now, I'm not sure if you guys are interested in any of this techie stuff, but if so, I'll just put a couple links down below for you. 
The monitor that I'm using is a 24 inch Dell Ultra Sharp that I've had for quite a few years, but I have had my eye on some new 34 inch curved monitors, but I just can't get myself to pull the trigger just yet. Maybe in a few months or something. The 49 inch curved monitors look insane, but they also come with a pretty insane price tag. Ideally though, once I do get a new monitor, I would like to have it mounted on a monitor arm instead of sitting on my desk. So this computer is a pretty recent build that my friend Brian helped me with a few months ago. Now it is not super top of the line, but I'm also not really a gamer, so I really don't need top of the line hardware. So this was kind of a budget build at around $1,000 using kind of the best I could afford at the time. It's running Windows 10 and my main focus was on speed of editing videos. I needed this machine to handle 100% playback in Premiere Pro, timeline scrubbing without lag, real-time color grades and faster rendering and output. This machine does exactly that. Guys, I film everything for YouTube in 1080p and then I up to 4K when I output. I've seen some comparisons between 1080 and 4K and I really don't see the need personally to film everything in 4K. Editing is faster, storage is less, and since most people are watching YouTube videos on their phone, filming and editing 4K footage and then dealing with those files just really isn't necessary in my opinion. Okay, let me quickly run through some of the components in the computer because I know some of you guys might just want to know. Okay, the case is a NZXT H510 mid tower with a glass side panel. The motherboard is an MSI MPG X570 gaming edge with Wi-Fi, and it's got a ton of USB connectors on the back, which I need. The processor is an AMD Ryzen 7 7200 with a really neat looking LED cooling fan. Gotta have that bling. The graphics card is a Radeon, RX 590 Fatboy 8 gig, and the power supply is a 650 watt from EVGA. It's got 32 gigs of RAM from Corsair, a Samsung 970 Evo, one terabyte M.2 internal drive with another 500 gig solid state working drive. I usually use the working drive to edit videos directly and then transfer everything over to storage after everything is done. Now I can edit efficiently, directly off of the GTEC USB 3 drives, but this way it just seems a little bit quicker. Additionally, I've got an older 1080p webcam for my Zoom calls and my YouTube lives, along with a Blue Yeti microphone. Now, I would like the ability in the future to use a DSLR for live streaming, but the cam link that I want has been out of stock forever, and even if you can find it, it's insanely overpriced. So, if, if you guys know of an alternative to the Elgato HDMI to USB cam link, please let me know down in the comments. My other peripherals aren't really anything special. I'm using a Logitech Bluetooth solar keyboard that's actually been really great for me over the last couple of years. And I've also got a pretty cheap sound bar and a really cheap Bluetooth mouse from Insignia. Guys, overall, I am very happy with the computer build because it's way faster and way quieter than my eight-year-old Windows 7 machine that I was using before this. Editing videos is way faster and everything runs smoother. Gentlemen, I know this was a little bit techy, but don't forget to click that link down below to Carl Friedrich and check out their new home office accessories. Also, if you're not yet a subscriber, please consider doing that right now because I'm here twice a week with new videos that surround men's lifestyle topics for grownups. Guys, I'll see you in a few days for a brand new video, but until then, live well, stay healthy, and I'll see you very soon.